free. She's got twins at home. Um, so she knows how to manage time. And she's going to teach us some things with Google Calendar and just some great little tips for you guys to use with your business. So let's give it up for Kat. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll just jump in. I want to show you a couple of things. And then I'm going to show you how you can actually set something like this up yourself. Google Calendars is actually free. And all the Google apps that are out there are pretty much free with the that you can use for your own business, you can pretty well do with Google for free. This calendar that I have set up here um, is a free app as long as you have a Google account and you do not have to have a Google email address to have a Google account, by the way, and I will show you how to set up a, an account. Um, it gives me access to the Google Calendar. Um, and as you can see, I basically have done my weekly planner in my Google Calendar. I kind of um, like to stay green. I don't like having a lot of paper laying around, and I lose it. If I have something that I've written down, I lose it. I forget to look at it. It's bad. So this was just a better solution for me, um, and this is what I want to show you today. Um, as you can see, I have several calendars set up in this, um, and that just keeps me organized. There's my color coding right there, um, and each of these calendars, I can turn them off if I just want to look at the stuff from Mary Kay. I can turn off my work start a business, I can turn off all my family events, and then I just have the stuff with Mary Kay. Um, and so, basically, it's pretty darn flexible. So let me show you a little bit of how to actually get this set up so that you can actually do this yourself. Um, the first thing, like I said, is you have to have a Google account. And if you don't have a Google account, it's really easy to sign up for one. All you have to do is you just go to Google. Um, Google will actually have a place up in the top right hand corner of your screen that will say sign in or sign up. Um, and you will just click on that space when it pops up. It's actually on every single Google page you see, so it's actually up here. It will look very similar to this. You see it's got my little face and everything, but it will have a sign up button or a sign in button. If you click on that, um, it will give you the opportunity to actually create your own account and Google makes it very easy. You just walk through the steps. It will tell you everything that you need to do to sign up for an account. And once you sign up for an account, then you can actually go to Google Calendars and you can do this one of two ways. If you go to www.google.com, you will see this nice menu bar up here at the top and you can click Calendar. Or you can just do a Google search for Google Calendars in your search bar and it will bring up Google Calendars as well. So then you can start setting up your calendars. So pretty easy. Is everybody with me so far? We're doing good? Yes, you're okay. Okay, we've got the mic out here. You can bend oh. that down if you want to, but I think everybody can hear you okay. Okay, I just want, I, I do talk kind of low, so yeah, tell me if I'm, if I'm going too fast or if you can't hear me, because I know I do talk quiet. Um, all right, to set up some of these calendars, you see I've got everything color-coded for me, and I set up the colors myself because well, I like them, they're pretty, and they mean something to me. Um, obviously, all my Mary Kay stuff is in pink, and then every time I have an opportunity to make money, it's in green, because I love it. Green is the color of money. But to set one of these calendars up is pretty easy. This interface is pretty nice. If I want to set up a brand new calendar, all I have to do is come over here. Don't make the liar out of me. Here we are. I have to come over here to my calendars and I can create a new calendar. Now right off the bat with Google Calendars, you're going to get a calendar that has your username. So uh, originally I did have a calendar on here that said Catherine Hatchell. It was my personal calendar. Um, you can change that. Uh, obviously I did. I, I uh, overlooked that because I didn't need one for just myself. I knew what I was doing. I, I wanted to separate everything out. Um, to create a new calendar, I go over there um, to my little my arrow over here and then I'll just click create new calendar. And if it works the way it should, you come up with this page. All right. So right here, you're going to look through and you're going to see that you can give your calendar a name. Um, I've named all of my calendars according to what their purpose is. I have one for my family, of family events. I have one for my husband's work schedule and his um, 
time in school. He's in school right now, so I try and keep track of his schedule. I have, you know, calendars for Mary Kay um, for our events and our classes, but also for money-making opportunities. I have one for that as well. And basically, you can just add in the calendar name or something that means or a name that means something to you, um, and then you can add a description for that calendar down here. So on one of my Mary Kay calendars.
she was very close. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's uh, I really love that. And then, of course, you can always add guests to your events, so you can invite people. And I believe that you actually use this, Holly actually used this for our new consultant training, so she actually um, invited all of us through here. And then, of course, I get to choose the calendar that I want and I put a description in for the event, and I can add as many reminders as I want. And it can either be a pop-up reminder or I can have it email me. Usually I choose to have it email me because pop-ups don't show up on my phone. So if I have it emailed to me like an hour, 10 minutes before, or I'll add like three of these because I'm really bad. I, uh, I can have it in days, weeks, hours, and I usually generally have three reminders for everything. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. Did you say email or text message? Uh, it emails <laughs> to you. So it's not, it won't snooze like that. Um, like I know I have reminders on my phone where every five minutes it will come back up if I don't dismiss it. So this one, you have this is kind of building in a snooze, right? Because right. You're setting up like three different reminders. Right. I uh, I I do that. Yes, absolutely. It doesn't. It does have like I've got this on my. Uh, phone and it's got my my teach class right here and I can actually snooze and dismiss it. staring me right in the face, giving me notifications on my phone, beeping at me and yelling at me. It's in, it's almost impossible. I still try, but it's a lot harder for me to forget things. But that's, I mean, you know, there are other features on here, uh, and there are a lot more things that Google has. I've got my task list up here. start. I mean, Google Calendars will at least help you go paperless on your weekly planner and help you keep it with you. Um, I tried the weekly planner on paper. I, like, lost it the day that I did it. I'm really bad about that kind of stuff. She, like she said, I have three kids. I'm running again it all the time. And I I, uh, I forget to look at the paper or I lose the paper. This this helps me. And you don't have to use it. This is just a, a really cool tool, I think, that, uh, that might help you run your business more efficiently. I know you all probably have questions. I know several of you are looking for them. I want to ask for this. I want to ask for that. So at this point, if you guys, is this a good point to ask? Absolutely. I was about to ask. Okay. Yes, go ahead. I have a question. 
If you if they do not have a Google account, then they don't have a Google calendar, and their their calendar can't see them. So yes, you have to have a, a Google. Uh, sorry, you can invite people who don't have Google because it will send an email, an email invitation, um, kind of like Outlook invitations. It works kind of the same way, but unless they have a Google calendar, sharing it with them, they they don't have any way of viewing it. So, but they wouldn't necessarily have to have Gmail, just a Google. Right, just a Google account. They don't have to have Gmail. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I've got my Google Calendar set up, but I guess I didn't realize. I mean, I've got everything color coded, but I don't have it set up under my calendars like that. So I guess I could take my color coding and set it up under my calendar so that, like you said, if I just want to look at one particular area, then I can click on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you, I mean, you can color code individual events, but I find that this is a lot easier because I can turn it, I can turn specific things off. Um, I, if I only want to look at things that I'm doing for McAllen Solutions or things that I'm doing for Phoenix Systems, then I can turn everything else off. And so I, that's the reason I like setting it up this way. And it's basically just creating a new calendar. And you can pull other people's calendars in. Like I said, if you have spouses or if you have children, um, if they have sports schedules. I know that, I mean, you know, it's nice because they can update their calendar. You, it automatically pulls into yours. So, I mean, um, that's that's where the sharing comes in. I, I like it for our family. Um, my kids are not old enough to have those, but when they do, yeah, we're using it. If it's not in the calendar, then it's not happening. So, any other questions? Show what it looks like on on like the day.
Does it also show for the week what tasks you have? Actually, your task list is kind of independent. What it does is it basically shows you any tasks that you have in there. It's like a to-do list, so it doesn't go by day or anything. It just basically, um, as you have tasks come in, it'll just be in there. And so you can turn turn your tasks off or erase them, but it's it, it'll be in there. It's whatever you have. So that would be like the perfect six most important things to do list yeah. for the next right. day, because we always say whatever you don't get done, you say it the next day. So that would make it really simple. <coughs> yeah. Okay, I know you guys have more questions. Everybody's like, oh my gosh. Can we see the monthly? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, there's my month. So, very little green on that. That is a sad thing. It will be, it will be covered soon. <laughs> Y'all notice what's on the 27th on her calendar for this weekend? Everybody needs to be there with us. So, uh, anybody? Or you guys are too afraid, you're like, please don't tell me anything else. So um, if you have any questions that, that you think of later, don't hesitate to ask. Um, and there's so much more that you can do um, online than, than just your calendar. But um, I don't want you to explode, honestly. Um, I could spend hours just talking about some of this stuff. So um, if you have questions, if you want to set up on your phone, if you want me to help you with anything, just ask. I'm happy to go. Honestly, awesome. Well, let's give Kat a big awesome. hand. So the two you sold to then referred the other two to you. Right. So you sold four because two people you talked to. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Very smart. So that's a eight hundred dollar that's eight hundred dollars in sales. Um, and I offered them each I have a price off of one of the sets. One of the sets. When they referred somebody? Yes. That, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm tell you guys the reorder on this product. I'm just starting to get reorders. Oh. Um, I just sold two serums just in the last two days, and I delivered the serum to one lady yesterday, then she texted me this morning, she goes, oh my gosh, I just ran out of my day cream. So she paid me, she gave me a $100 check yesterday, and I went by her house this afternoon, she gave me a $50 check today. I'm like, I love this product. <laughs> and she loves it, she is raving about this area. She said, Holly, you would not believe this area, how much you look more lifted. She said, I even had um, a friend of mine noticed, and she said, they're already seeing it. So this is an area a lot of women have issues with and want to firm up. So, but I have a question. Okay. Um, I went to I went to the post office and uh, you know the fits it'll ship. Well, it fits, but it costs ten dollars to ship it. If I use the company to ship it, then it would be five. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Because the box is heavy. It is heavy. Yeah, and it's pretty. Yeah. And you can do a padded envelope. Um, you can buy the big padded envelopes from Mary Kay, but I don't know if it will fit in the big padded envelope or not. Um, it probably will. Too thick. Because it might be cheaper with your people out of town to do the customer delivery service. It's only $5, and it'll come packaged really pretty with tissue paper and yellow things. Yeah, you've got to figure out a town. Let's give it up for Dora. Woo! 